Welcome to battle number four of week number 10 of the FNF Victory Road Draft League season three. This battle is going to feature Sir Roland and New Era Justified versus Morgana and Lakeshore Ladians. Both of these trainers are vying for playoffs. Um, Sir Roland has to have a very specific chain of events happen, but so far he's still in. Um, he's going to have to 6-0 Morgana to be eligible. And Morgana is vying for playoffs. I do believe he has to win this one to get in. So this is going to be a very intense battle. Very excited to see how it goes. Um, in terms of Mega Pokemon, we don't have any Mega Pokemon this time. We do have Z Pokemon, however. We have Z... Uh, I believe Z Attack Trapinch and Z Any Gardevoir, and then we have Z Attack Heatran, respectively. So this could be interesting. Trapinch, Luxray, and Volcanion being here, as well as Mesprit, alerts me to possible Trick Room happening. And Trapinch does look pretty um, intense. Morgana does have two levitate Pokemon, but if it comes in in Trick Room against Heatran or Zero Aura, uh, Morgana is definitely in trouble. Don't sleep on the dirt, baby. <laughs> um, so I do think that Sir Roland's going to go for a speed uh, changing scenario. Morgana's going to have to try really hard to prevent that Trick Room from being set up. It probably means um, Morgana using Murkrow with Taunt against his lead of Mesprit which I think is going to be most likely. Um, Mesprit's probably going to be the Trick Room setter. Gardevoir can also set Trick Room. So this is going to be really interesting to see how this goes. I'm really excited. I do think it's going to be offensive from both sides. It's just going to be a matter of who could plow through who first and who could control the speed. So let's jump in and see how it goes. In terms of leads, I do think we're going to see Mesprit. I think we're going to see Murkrow from Morgana um, as an anti-lead. We'll see. Maybe we'll see Frostlass as a lead as well. Frostlass is actually pretty good versus uh, Murkrow. Or maybe Zero Aura. Does Zero Aura get Taunt? That's a big... That's a... That's the question. <laughs> Alright. Alright. We actually start with White Shadow the Frostlass versus Detective the Heatran. Heatran having a very nice matchup in this. We might see Stealth Rock go up. I think Frostlass does get Taunt, but it's not going to want to stick around and see if there's a Flamethrower or Flash Cannon coming from Heatran. We might see actually Volcanion come in. The trick is going to fail, so the Heatran does have a Z Crystal attached. Score is 5 6. So we don't know what. Uh, detective's gonna go for maybe it's a Z solar beam <laughs> Sir Roland saying trick number one fell out the window in this case literally speaking because trick was the move that he used <laughs> okay so promise the mesprit comes in and that's a very nice name. I like that name. It's a reference. <laughs> Back when I had uh, Mesprit in Season 2, I named my Mesprit Promise. So there's a Stealth Rock and Stealth Rock on Morgana's side as well. So both sides going for that Stealth Rock. This is the moment of truth. Will we see a Trick Room set up here? That could change the game. We see a Lava Plume coming from Detective that's going to do a little bit of damage to Promise. And indeed, we do see the Trick Room. I was expecting that. So Trick Room is up for four more turns. What will Promise do? I'm guessing we'll see a U-turn happen here so that Sir Roland can pivot into something a little more advantageous. Indeed, we do see that U-turn. Detective, no, at 97%. Will we see Trap Inch come in? I think we're going to see Trapinch. We're going to see Dirt Baby. Or maybe Volcanion, because Volcanion can eat a Lava Plume pretty easily. And nothing really wants to switch into Volcanion. Sir Roland weighing the options.
whatever he sends out, it will be able to take on heat ran, I think, because if it's Volcanion, um, steam eruption will hit hard, and if it's Trap Inch, Earthquake will hit hard. It's just a matter of who does he want to send in. Trap Inch, Dirt Baby! Dirt Baby is here, and there's the Earth Power. That's going to bring Dirt Baby down to 26%, but Dirt Baby will go first in Trick Room, and it has Arena Trap, so it will trap Detective and kill it with Earthquake. Yeah, removing Heat Ran will be very good for Sir Roland because it's a pretty bulky Pokemon. So there's a Z move. It's a Tectonic Rage taking down Detective. Score is now 5 5. Trick Room's still up for two more turns. I think we'll see Murkrow come in. Murkrow does have Prankster, so it will be able to go first if it needs to. I'm not sure if Morgana wants to defog or just send in Murkrow and go for the roost after taking some of that rock damage to stall out the trick room. And actually, Kitagiri, the Tapu Fini comes in, setting up that Misty Surge. Uh, Dirt Baby can't do much to uh, Tapu Fini because it's very bulky. It still can hit rather hard. An Earthquake will probably do at least 30 or 40 to Tapu Fini, so it'll be some nice damage on it. I'm curious as to if there's going to be a Defog. Minecraft Chicken, the Volcanion comes in and there's a Shadow Ball that's going to do 17% to Minecraft Chicken. And Kitagiri is now at 94%. The Trick Room's up for one more turn. And... I think that maybe Sir Roland was expecting the Scald. So Flash Cannon does 31% to Kitagiri, and there's a Defog that's going to remove rocks from both sides. Kitagiri at 69%, and the Misty Terrain is still up. Trick Room is over, so Kitagiri will go first. And Volcanion's a rather troublesome Pokemon for Morgana, so if he could take down uh, Volcanion, that's going to be pretty good for him. Oh, something that I just considered. Um, Gardevoir could trace Volt Absorb and take... Plasma Fists from Zero Aura, and it could also trace uh, Prankster from Murkrow, and it could also trace um, Speed Boost from Sharpedo. So Gardevoir is looking really scary in this for Morgana, especially if it traces a Speed Boost. Oh my gosh, that could be game over. I'm wondering if Morgana's going to switch at this point. Tapu Fini doesn't actually seem that vital to him at this moment. Yeah, Kitty the Sharpedo comes in, and in comes Gardevoir Blue Cheese. Oh, and there's the Trace on the Speed Boost! Oh my gosh, we have a Trace on the Speed Boost. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is going to be do or die for Morgana. Morgana's going to have to do big damage against Blue Cheese, the Gardevoir. If Kitty could one-hit KO Gardevoir, that's it. 
Um, the Misty Terrain will prevent Hypnosis from working. We saw Cerulean go for the Z Hypnosis in a previous match. So um, that's something that he, if he has that up his sleeve, he can't really do that right now. This is, this is do or die. I think that Morgana needs to stay in because nothing could really switch in. And yeah, this is this is very scary for Morgana. Gardevoir with speed boost. What will they do? Oh man, this is this is very exciting. I'm not sure if Crunch is going to be enough to one-hit KO Gardevoir or Liquidation, but letting Gardevoir get a boost is uh, is quite the dangerous game, especially because Moonblast is so good. Oh, but ultimate question mark, the Murkrow comes in and there's a Trick Room. So Blue Cheese actually has Trick Room set up and a speed boost. Um, I'm actually really surprised that Murkrow switched in because... Murkrow is um, dark, so Moonblast would pretty much obliterate it. Trick Room will be bad for Gardevoir, though, while it has speed boost still. And there's a Parish Song from Murkrow. The Moonblast is going to hit Murkrow very hard, taking it down to 17%. And Gardevoir gets that speed boost once again. I don't know if Murkrow stays in at this point. Morgana really wanted to make sure that Gardevoir didn't stay in, but because it's not mean looked, it can't really do much. Um, sorry, Gardevoir could just switch out. Yes, Gardevoir does switch out into Sparky, and ultimate question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, the Murkrow goes for the Roost. But Sparky's burned now. Murkrow, Murkrow could kind of try to stall a little bit with Roost, but I'm not sure if that's a great idea. There's another Parish Song on Sparky. The Crunch is going to hit, doing 31%. Sparky now has a Parish Song attached to it, and Murkrow will Parish next turn. Trick Room also only lasts for one more turn. And Sparky looks very, very tough for Morgana because it is bulky, so I don't know if he'll be able to take it out in one shot. And it functions very nicely in Trick Room. So it looks like Sir Roland was actually calling out the switch with a crunch. So I'm wondering if he's going to do that again or go for the wild charge or something. Maybe Murkrow just stays in and dies, but this is looking like a very high risk scenario for Morgana. Trick room up for one more turn still. And Kyoko the Zero Aura comes in. There's the Wild Charge. It's not going to work because of the Volt Absorb on Kyoko. Score is still 5-5. And Sparky's at 89%. It will perish in two turns, so we might see that switch. Sparky can hit Kyoko really hard. So I'm not sure if we're going to see that happen and then Sparky switches out next turn or if Sparky just goes for the switch this turn. Yeah, we see this turn the switch. Promise is out and there's a Volt switch. It's going to do 19% to Promise, who's at 44%. We might see Murkrow come in actually and try to taunt 
or maybe Sharpedo actually. Yeah, Sharpedo comes in, Kitty the Sharpedo. Now it could go for a Crunch and that'll be very nice for Sharpedo. It'll also get a speed boost. The Crunch takes down Promise and that Rocky Helmet combined with the Life Orb is gonna do quite a bit of damage, but Kitty now poised to go for a sweep. If Luxray comes in, it'll be a little bit hard for Kitty, but uh, Gardevoir comes in and there's a trace on the speed boost again. These, these trick rooms are really hard for Morgana to deal with, but once Gardevoir goes down, that's going to be the last trick room user um, that Sir Roland has. I think in this case, Kitty should just stay out and try to deal as much damage on Gardevoir as it possibly can. Score is 4-5. And there's a crunch. A critical hit crunch is going to take out Gardevoir. And the score is 3-5. Speed boost is going to boost Kitty's speed one more stage. And now Kitty's looking very, very nice. Um, Luxray can do quite a bit, though. Sparky the Luxray does come in at 89%. Kitty at 64. The Earthquake takes out Sparky. I, I forget that Sharpedo has Earthquake sometimes. Um, Sharpedo on a roll now. Volcanion comes in. Minecraft Chicken, will it be able to take an Earthquake from Kitty? The answer is no. Down Minecraft Chicken goes, and the last Pokemon standing is Dirt Baby. Score is 1-5. And the Liquidation takes out Dirt Baby, and that is the match. Score is 5-0. Morgana and Lakeshore Ladians advances um, with a victory over Sir Roland and New Era Justified. What a match. That crit was very significant, um, but I think that Morgana just going for that crunch anyways weakened Gardevoir enough to the point that um, Miss Magius was able to come in and clean up. So no matter what Gardevoir did, um, I still think that the, the crit was important. But I still think that Miss Magius being kept in that reserve spot and Gardevoir being damaged so that it could be taken down was really important for Morgana. The first time he switched out Sharpedo and I think he should have just stayed in and dealt damage um, and the Trick Room shenanigans happened. But yeah, that was a smart move by him and Sharpedo looking pretty good. So uh, Morgana does make it into playoffs, I believe, with this. And so we still have a couple more slots of the playoffs to see who makes it in. Very exciting stuff. Stay tuned for the rest of those matches coming up. This is Noel from Hypno Slumber Party, and I'll see you then.